In other news, the University of Ghana branch of UTAG intends to mount pressure on its management to cut down on admissions due to inadequate lecturers. The leadership of the association says it will only back down on its decision if government lifts the embargo on recruitment of staff into the university. National President of Utah, Dr. Harry Agbanu, spoke exclusively to our reporter, Daniel Opoku, in Accra. Two months ago, government stated has not placed an embargo on recruitment into education and health sectors. On Thursday, May 5, President Mahama on his accounting to the people to in the central region said public universities should recruit more personnel. However, this directive by the president has been received with mixed feelings among the lecturers and leadership of the University Teachers Association of Ghana. UTAC stated that the directive by the president indicates that there has been an embargo on recruitment for several years. For the president to come to say that he has directed that that embargo should be ignored and recruitment made to tertiary institutions. It tells us that then somebody somewhere along the line has not been telling the Ghanaian public the truth. In the case of the University of Ghana, for three years it has not made any staff recruitment. Currently, its management has recruited 112 academic staff and 20 administrative staff to assist without approval from government. However, government says these staff do not qualify to benefit from the book and research allowance. This, the leadership of UTAC describes as unfortunate. The list has been sent. The auditors are saying that those names should be deleted. And if those names are deleted from that list, then it means that the university will now have to look for 817,000 CDs to pay the book and research allowances to these people. It has therefore indicated plans to mount pressure on its management to cut down on admissions if the embargo is not lifted. Now we can't mount new courses because we don't have the personnel to mount those. We can't design new courses because we don't have people. We would be glad to see this directive being followed and implemented. Else we will insist that our, our management admit the number of students that we can. But if management refuses, then we we'll advise ourselves as to what to do.